100 years ago, the majority of Jews who immigrated to the United States settled on the East Coast. So the story of Minnesota Jewry is obviously a very small part of that. So it's unique and it's a Midwestern story, it's an American story, it's a Jewish story. This history is important to the state of Minnesota, to the upper Midwest, because the collection area is sort of the Federal Reserve District. It encompasses North and South Dakota and northern parts of Wisconsin as well. The place of historical archives in the life of any community is crucial, because without archives, how do we know the history of a community? The Upper Midwest Jewish Archive is an incredibly valuable resource to the academic community and the entire Jewish community of the Upper Midwest. It's been collected over decades by the Jewish Historical Society of the Upper Midwest before it arrived here at the University of Minnesota. The role of an archivist is incredibly important and we have here on staff, someone who is a specialist in this collection. We want to have a complete history, and she doesn't have all the records. She doesn't have time to collect all the records. Half time isn't enough. I am giving this interview the week that the people who perpetrated violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, shouting Jews will not replace us, and featuring neo-Nazis along with white supremacists and other groups, are trying to redefine the history of the United States. This archive tells the story of a region's American Jews, what they did, what they cared about, the struggles that they fought on behalf of their own rights to be part of American history and the rights of other minorities. And there has literally never been a more compelling moment to preserve and protect history and to tell the truth of who the history of this nation belongs to. The Upper Midwest Jewish Archives is an important and valued collection of the University of Minnesota Libraries. We're honored to serve as the home to the archives and proud to be able to share this remarkable collection with everyone. With your support, our archivist will have the time and the resources to collect, preserve, and assist scholars writers, and community members in illuminating the lives of Jewish people in the Upper Midwest. We want all of us to give and contribute to preserve this history and to preserve it in the best possible setting, which is Elmer Anderson Library and Archives of the University of Minnesota. My family certainly is making a major contribution, and we want to encourage everyone else to do that.